Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my fall home tour. I have been so looking forward to filming this video for you guys and sharing how I decorated for fall this year, just kind of in the hopes that you can kind of start feeling the fall feelings and start getting excited for the new season and also hoping that you guys can kind of get some different ideas on how to decorate your own homes. And I'm also so excited to share that this video is in collaboration with one of my best friends, Megan from Love Meg. I'm sure that so many of you guys already know who she is, but if you don't know who she she is I know that you guys will absolutely love her she is one of the kindest people I have ever met she shares amazing cleaning videos she is one of the OG's here on YouTube for sharing cleaning videos and hers are definitely amazing she is a mom to two little ones Ross and Julie and they have the sweetest little southern accents they always make me wish that we lived down the south again and she is also going to be sharing her fall home tour this year however she has kind of taken it in a little bit different direction so instead of doing just all fall this year she has done a lot of of Halloween decor and let me tell you I have never in my life been so excited to decorate for Halloween but she just made it look so good from the pictures that we were sharing back and forth the other day as we were decorating and she just kind of made it look very whimsical and I know that our kids would totally love it I'm sure that her kids are loving it too so you guys have to go check that out like I said if you are not already a part of her YouTube family be sure to go check her out I will leave her link down in the description box and when you do be sure to let her know that I sent you and without further ado let's go ahead and show you how I decorated for fall this year. Okay, so we are going to be starting out on our front porch. I actually have it pretty much decorated. I might end up adding like a few pumpkins down here just like along the walkway, but I'm gonna turn you around and show you how I have it decorated. So to start out, this is just the wreath that I pretty much have up all year round. These are little florals from, Hob no, not Hobby Lobby. These florals are from Dollar Tree. The wreath form is from Hobby Lobby. And then I think this ribbon is actually from Dollar Tree as well. And then this is just the Hello Fall sign that I actually picked up at Hobby Lobby this year. I think it was like $3 and I just kind of spray painted it white just so it kind of like stood out a little bit more. And that is the wreath that I have for fall this year. This sign right here just says hello fall, but it's super cool because on the back side it says boo to you. So around like Halloween or during October, we can kind of flip that around and then even flip it back around for November if we wanted. But that I believe was about $15. And again, that was from Hobby Lobby. And then for kind of the base area down here, I just have this Buffalo check rug. I got this from Amazon. I will link it in the description box. And then this I believe was from Target a few years ago. I think they have similar ones, but you can definitely find different ones. The thing that I love about this is that it's like an all the time rug. And then you can just kind of like change out little decor pieces here, but I don't have to get a different rug all the time. And then at the base of that sign, I have this little pumpkin. I hope you can kind of see that. There's like some little speckles. It's really lightweight, so it's kind of like an outdoor pumpkin too. This was from Home Depot. And then this is one I got from Marshalls. This is actually a cement pumpkin. And I just kind of set it right here just to make sure like the sign doesn't end up blowing over. And then over on this side, I just put a few florals. So these are just some red mums. And then these are some yellow mums. I'm definitely going to have to work at watering these to make sure they stay alive. And how cute is this little owl pot? He was from Home Depot as well. And then this thing is something that I got from Amazon. It also comes in like a galvanized tin, but it's metal with a wooden top. And then you can actually open up the inside and put like umbrellas or whatever you wanted in there. And then this little guy, is a little bear that was actually carved out of like the trunk of a tree. Kyle had somebody make this for me when we were dating and I love it. So it's always kind of like on our front porch. 
Okay, so now we are going to head inside. As you come in the front door, you end up turning right and you go into my office. So I actually am planning to change this wall around a little bit because this was kind of set up for when I had the couch here, but it ended up making this opening really, really narrow. And so I kind of rearranged things and I really like this, but I think I might end up putting like a hanging plant right here or something just to kind of like fill that space. So right here we just have like our plant and a plant stand. I've actually shared this in a recent home tour, so I will link that up above for you guys. But this is like our fall decor. This is a sign that my mom actually picked up for me. I think just at one of her local grocery stores. So I wish I could link it. I love just how fun it is. It has like the leaves blowing out of the basket. And then right here, you guys probably saw these in my Hobby Lobby and Big Lot shop with me, but these are just some little light up pumpkins from Hobby Lobby. And I love this buffalo check. It's like the soft, subtle gray buffalo check. How pretty is that? A part of us will never leave. Oh, forever. And then our couch, I don't really have too much changed about this, but I did add this little pillow. It just says, hello fall. And this was from Big Lots this year. I have to take that tag off, <laughs> but I haven't yet. And then that pillow is just one that I have all the time. It's just a Ray Dunn pillow, I believe from Marshall's. And it just says, let the beauty of what you love be what you do. Over here, this is where we have our little Roomba and our printer. On here, I kind of went like with a more feminine feel because this is like the room that I'm in all the time and nobody else is really in. So all of these items came from Big Lots aside from this little cake stand, which came from Target Dollar Spot. And I love this pumpkin. It's like a really pretty watercolor floral pumpkin. I believe this one was $10 from Big Lots. I think this one was five. Yeah, this was $5 and it says morning pumpkin. And then this one, it says I love fall most of all, which is 100% accurate for me. So over here, these are just some items that were made and sent to me from some subscribers. And I love just kind of showcasing them in here. And then this was actually a sign that was sent to me by an amazing YouTuber. I will link her channel below, but she has a DIY on this and she, I had mentioned that I loved it and she was so sweet and sent it to me. And I thought this was perfect to add into here right now. Then over here, we just have our shoe cabinet that holds like all of our shoes or all of mine and Kyle's shoes. This one was from Big Lots during the summer and this was from Hobby Lobby. And then I picked up these items. This was from Big Lots and this is from Hobby Lobby. I feel like that's where a lot of our decor is from right now. But I love just kind of adding in like really unique items in here. And I love this little acorn. It was all etched out. So cute. It's very, very simple. I feel like this is kind of how I've done my decor this year. It's just really, really simple. Not too much, but like just enough to make it feel really homey. So then coming out of the office, we just have like our little foyer area here. I haven't done too much. I just added this little hello fall pillow and this pumpkin. I cannot remember exactly where this from, is from. I want to say TJ Maxx or Ross last year. And then this pumpkin I believe was from Hobby Lobby, but this was again something I got last year. So I always have fresh flowers in our kitchen. It's just something that I've loved doing over the last, I would say like almost a year maybe. And then right here, you just see this little trough or something. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it's like a little tray. I got this from Hobby Lobby. A ton of you guys asked about this one in my fall clean and decorate with me. And then I have all these little pumpkins just in like different shades. These ones were from the Target Dollar Spot last year, and I believe these were as well. These are just little plastic, little plastic ones. And then these are like the squishy felt pumpkins. And I love like how narrow it is, so I can still have something here and there's still room to eat, but it just is like very simple. 
And then a lot of you guys know Kyle and I are going to New York this coming week for our 10 year anniversary. So I am burning our New York City candle just to kind of get us in the mood for it. A part of us will never leave. Moving over here, we still have our little tea station. And I didn't do much to this except I did just add this little pumpkin and I believe this is actually from a Target as well from last year. Over here, this is something I'm super excited about. I got this from Target Dollar Spot. This was only $3 for the pack of two. And I love the idea of just kind of like layering these on top so you have like a base print and then something like a little bit, I don't know, a little bit more specific. So I absolutely love this little pop of orange right here and just how it looked in the whole kitchen. The next area I wanted to show you guys is above my pantry and on my door. I always get questions about this clock. It was from Ross a few years ago. And then this pantry sign was made for me by Heart of This Home Designs on Etsy. And then this wreath I believe came from Marshalls last year. And I just, I always love adding a wreath onto my pantry door. I feel like it just kind of adds that pop of color and you can kind of decorate for the seasons that way too. Next, I have this dish towel. This is just a really soft and subtle one that I had gotten last year. It has like little pumpkins, but they're all in kind of like some muted gray tones. And this is always a really great way to decorate if you are on a budget or you don't want to make it too cluttered. You just use your dish towel here. You can change this out for the season. It's useful, it's practical, and it's cute. And then I always get questions about this. This is just a magnet I got on Etsy. And I always just kind of like try to let people know like if the dishwasher is dirty or not, whether they can put their dishes in there. And I love how it looks. Next on my windowsill, I just have these small little pumpkins here for a light little touch. These are from Target Dollar Spot last year. And I believe this one was sent to me, but I think this one was also from Target and I just love adding like the little subtlety of little pumpkins in the kitchen. Then over on this side of the cabinet, this is just right on the edge of our countertop, I have this little pumpkin, it actually lights up and I love like the little stack and especially that it's not totally straight. I just kind of love like the cuteness of that. And this one was from TJ Maxx from a few years ago. I feel like they have amazing decor, especially when you're trying to get like a good deal on things because who isn't? And then I love this letter board. I got this on Amazon and I love like how tall it is. I love the stand it came with. And then these letters are from Words With Means on Etsy. Oh, <laughs> I think that's what happened to my last eyes. It must've dropped like that. And I did not even notice, but I do love like using this all the time. It's something that you can get once and then you can just use it forever because you can always just be changing out what the words say on it and i love this little combination of just keeping this area kind of simple but still kind of fall vibes here on our table i just kept things really really simple i got this buffalo check table runner from amazon i will have all of these things linked down below this basket came from ross several months ago it's very bare right now. We've eaten all the fruit, so I need to go shopping again. But last year I had actually set up like a whole fall centerpiece area and it looked really pretty, but it was so unpractical for us. We always had to be moving it. And then I didn't have a good place for our fruit. And so this year I just decided to keep it simple. It's still like fall-esque with the table runner, but it's very practical. You guys know that's how I always like to do things, just practical and beautiful. And this is how I've done it this year, so. No fall tablescape, no fall centerpiece, but it's still fallish. It's good. <laughs> So now we are in the living room. I got the ruggable rug, so I wanted to share with you guys this really quick. It actually has like a Velcro pad on the bottom and then it's super, super thin and lightweight so you can wash it and that just kind of sticks to the rug. I ended up painting this, you guys. <laughs> I hope you like it. A lot of you guys said do it, a lot of you guys said don't. I just, I really like it. I think this is how it was meant to be. I definitely need to do something with this side table. I never really loved it just because it was like so simple. So I'm going to have to DIY that somehow, I think. So starting out on the ottoman, it is just spray painted and I've kind of roughed it up here and there and kind of made it a little bit rustic looking. 
and I really love how it looks. And then on top of the ottoman, I have this tray. This actually came in a two pack. I got this from Amazon and underneath all of this, it just says home. I got this set of books. I actually won these from over on Instagram. I will link her shop below, but she has the cutest, cutest books. You guys will see another set I got too. And then here I just got this little pumpkin. I like the pop of orange. It's just kind of like a peachy orange and I love having this little texture in here. And this was $3 from the Target dollar spot this year. And then on our couch, I got all of these pillow covers from Amazon. And this was from, this little throw was actually from Ikea, but I love the blue and white little speckles in it. I think it's so cute. This is my favorite pillow cover. I love the texture on it. It has the tassels. I am constantly telling the boys, please do not tear the tassels off. I just love them, but we'll see how long they last. But for now, it's so, so pretty. And then over here in the corner, I have this little pillow. It just says handpicked farm fresh pumpkins. And this was $5 from the Target dollar spot this year. And I wanted to put this in here because I really like the pop of orange and just kind of like the difference that it would add. And then these pillows are actually, I did lie, these are not from Amazon. These ones were a pack of two from Home Goods, but they were just as cheap as pillow covers. And these actually are pillow covers. So I can so easily just take these inserts out when I don't want orange pillows and use these again next year and then put new pillow covers on the outside. Pillow covers are definitely one of my biggest tips for decorating on a budget and without having to take up too much space. Then over on this table, we just have this little Dollar Tree pumpkin. I think I got this last year or the year before. And then I obviously got this from the Target dollar spot. I believe this was last year, but I loved like all the colors and the cute little fall words. And then I kind of tied it all in with these Dollar Tree flowers and this vase that I actually got from our local grocery store. But you can find a ton of these little vases pretty much anywhere, online and stores. They're kind of all over the place. Wherever all my wishes may be heading, a part of us will never leave. Hey, Emma. She's just hanging out today. The boys aren't home, so she has nobody to hang out with today, huh? You don't have your buddies. So the mantle is always my favorite place to decorate. I just love it. I feel like it's such a focal piece in our house and I love kind of like making it really fun with the different holiday decor. So to start out with this sign, it was from Hobby Lobby and I loved it because again, it's something that I can use all year round. I can kind of change it out here and there whenever I want to, but it's not necessarily a big fall piece. And then the same with these two pieces. These actually came from Amazon. They were $20 for the set. I felt like that was such a good deal and I forgot to turn these on. There we go. But I just love the funness of them and kind of the warmth they can bring in. You can also change out the flowers if you want to change them like per season, just kind of change up the look, but still not have to do too much to it. This cute little truck sign was again, one that my mom had got me from her local grocery store. I don't know what grocery store that was, but they had the cutest things last year. And then this adorable little pumpkin, it has like some shimmers here and there, but I love all the texture of it and just like how different and unique it is. Even the stem is something different. It's just really unique and I love this. This one came from Hobby Lobby. These ones came from Hobby Lobby as well. And again, I just love like all the different texture on them. Super cute. And then on this side, this is a picture that I've had for a while, but this one just came from Walmart. These actually came from Dollar Tree last year, I believe. And it was because I couldn't find the actual cotton stems. So I got those ones instead and I really like them. Over here, I have this clock and this is from Big Lots. This was not in the fall section, but I did get it this year. And I really love like how deep the wood is and just so, so pretty. I love this one. Then this is just the same pumpkin that I have on the other side kind of tying it in and I love these little beads. These came in a few different colors. I got these from Hobby Lobby. I draped them very purposely in a way that looked really cute, but it also looked like it's just laying there. Like it's effortless, it's not effortless, but it looks that way, right? <laughs> but I love, love how the mantle turned out. It's just, it's always my favorite. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
The next area is our TV stand. I always get questions about this and this one is actually from Home Goods, but I've seen that Walmart has a very similar one. I think it just might be a little bit lighter top than this one has, but this little pedestal is so adorable. This is from Boxwood and Binkies on Etsy. And then this little pumpkin is from Hobby Lobby this year. I just loved it. I loved the really pretty leaf. It's made out of wood, so it's super sturdy, and I thought this was so cute. And then these three adorable little ceramic pumpkins with the gold tops, these all came from the Target dollar spot last year or the year before. Next to that, I have this little home sweet home sign with a little fall leaf right there. This is from the Target dollar spot last year, as were these pumpkins and this little basket, I guess. The basket is actually like a little pumpkin, but you can't really notice that because all the pumpkins are in there. But I just loved kind of like stacking this up with some cute little soft pumpkins and having like all the different textures like woods, metals, fabrics, I love it. This leaf was again from the Target Dollar Spot last year. And then of course I have my diffuser. I just get these on Amazon. And then this little acorn, I've seen this again this year at Hobby Lobby, but I got this one last year. It's like a rose gold. They also had it in different colors and then I got this sign from the Target Dollar Spot last year, and then my very talented sister just wrote Happy Fall, y'all, on this. So starting out on our long dresser, I have a few things that are just here all the time. Like I have this little willow tree guy and this is just one that has like the little baby. I love all these figurines. And then I have this marshmallow fireside candle from Bath and Body Works and I love the decor on it. I think it's so cute. I usually have this kind of tucked down in but when I have it burning I pull it out. And then this sign, it just says, let's be cozy. You can add like different letters to it, but this is just from the Target dollar spot. And then over here, I have another one of those box wooden binkies pedestals, but these have the little chubby legs and I love, love these legs. And then on top, this is one that I have all the time. It just says, love you more. And I believe this one is from Marshalls. Oh, TJ Maxx, close. So this one's from TJ Maxx. This is just a little pumpkin I got from TJ Maxx a few years ago, it came in like a big pack. And then this is from this year from the Target dollar spot and I love the buffalo check. You'll kind of see I'm doing buffalo check in our room a little bit. And I love how it's turning out. Then over here I have another one of our willow tree figurines. This one we actually got for our wedding back when it was just me and Kyle. And these are another set of those books from Kimber Sandstone over on Instagram and Etsy. But like I said, I will link her shop down below. So I just had her make one that had like all of our family. I thought this is the perfect area to have this. And I think that like when we aren't decorating for seasons, this one might end up going out into our living room, but at least for the seasons, I'm gonna keep the seasonal ones out there. And then these ones, I don't know. I just love them in here. I think they're so sweet. I love them. You guys have to check her out. She's amazing. Next over on our tall dresser, this one's Kyle's. I didn't change anything up over here at all, so we just have our diffuser, and then again, a few more willow tree. This one's like our whole family, so I have Kyle and Luke, and then Liam and Noah. And then this sign was actually made for me by something you would love on Instagram and Etsy, and I love this one. So this one always is a staple in our bedroom, and then this is just kind of an outdated picture. Sorry for that glare. But this was back, Noah was like maybe one, I think, and I think Luke was maybe in kindergarten, so it's a few years old, but I just love that picture of us, so this one always stays up there too. Mm -hmm. 
the next area in our bedroom is just this little cove area we can't look up too high or the lighting gets all crazy but we got our chairs from target and then this little table i keep like all of our extra linens and things like that in here i get a ton of questions and this one is actually from ikea and then these pillows are from i believe tj maxx and these are awesome too because they are actually inserts as well so i can take this out and just change out the outside and i still have a really awesome pillow form inside here and then on here i love putting things on trays for a few reasons the first one is because i feel like it kind of makes everything look like it's meant to be and the other thing is when i need to get everything out of here like my linens i can just pull the whole tray off versus having to take each individual item off so that's why I did that. This is again part of that set that I said I got from Amazon that I have in the living room. On here I have another unburned New York City candle from Bath & Body Works. I'm probably not going to burn this one. I just love it and it'll probably be kind of like, even though it's not from New York City, probably like a keepsake from our trip because this has been like my dream trip to go to. We also have a picture of Kyle and I on our wedding in here and then I got this little stand from the Target dollar spot along with these pumpkins and these and the sign. So this is all Target dollar spot. This just says, let's stay home. This is 100% me. And then these are just some of those little fall pumpkins. These ones are from this year. So I'm really loving the colors. They have like some deep greens and like burnt oranges. And then I just got some of these little plastic pumpkins too. So just really fun. And I felt like it tied kind of well with the buffalo check that I'm doing in here. The last area in our room is just our bed. Micah is just resting in here. Hey, Miss Micah. The pillows that I have here, these big ones are from Ross. And then this one is actually from the Target Dollar Spot. I kind of feel like I need to add something because I feel like this pillow is too little for the area. But that's just how I have it for right now. If you guys have any ideas, let me know. So on our bed, I always love adding like a fun colored throw. Just because I do like the white bedding, I like to add like little pops of color here and there. And this one was from Home Goods. I don't know if you guys can see, but it actually has like little bits of orange in here and then also white and red or kind of like a cream and red. And so I thought this is perfect for fall, even for Christmas, that one would still match and look good. So that's kind of why I went with this one. And I also love the little phrase on the end. And then in here, I just got this tray back in spring, I think from TJ Maxx. This sign is from the Target dollar spot, as are these two pumpkins, and I just love like the simplicity of it. I love how our room turned out this year. Whenever I am up to find a sunset, a flavor of a memory. Whenever all the stars above. A shining then I know I'll never be alone wherever all my wishes may be heading a part of us will never leave oh wherever in the world you may be hiding in a while I know so that is my fall home tour. I hope y'all enjoyed watching and just getting some fun ideas on how to decorate your own home for fall this year. And do not forget to go check out Megan's video. Like I said, she is making it really fun and tons of Halloween and fall decor. So you guys will absolutely love it. Be sure to let her know that I sent you when you head over there. And do not forget to subscribe down below if you are not already. And I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. <laughs> fun ideas on how to decorate your own home this year for, for fall. <laughs> Emma, Emma, oh my gosh, she pulled off my slipper. You are so silly. <laughs> you just want to be so close to everyone all the time and your boys aren't here, huh? Huh, you just do, sweet dog. Oh, sweet dog, you match my buffalo check.